Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today's video is my educational toy gift guide. This is one of my absolute favorite videos to film every year. It's also the one that is probably the hardest because I have to deep dive through all of our stuff and find all these products for you. Today's video is a collaboration with Jessica from The Waldoc Way. Anytime we're talking educational toys or educational games, I'm like, she's my girl. I gotta give her a call and say, do you wanna collab on this? Because she is full of great resources, great information. She always has fun stuff that she shares on her Instagram page. I love her YouTube videos, so make sure you pop on over to her video after you watch this one. And if you guys like educational toy gift guides and, and gift guides in general, give this video a thumbs up. I, I need to know if you guys want more of these, um, and that helps me know for sure. I did just ask on my Instagram tonight if you guys want to see a stocking stuffer, an educational stocking stuffer gift guide. Um, and so far, I think it's a big yes, but if you want to go ahead and vote in the comments below, let me know if you want to see educational stocking stuffers as well. Those would all be around $10 and under. So I have a whole lot to show you today. First things first, I just want to say if you are new here, you're coming over from Jessica's channel, hello, my name is Abby. I'm a homeschooling mom of four kids. My kids are almost 11, um, eight, six, and two and a half. So we, we've got fifth grade, third grade, kindergarten, and it's a little bit of preschool going on. So I love sharing educational things and educational products. Um, it's one of my favorite parts of having a YouTube channel. So this video is a super fun one because I kind of get to pull together all the things that we've loved over the last year and share them with you. I also love being really intentional with gift giving. And so I hope that this gives you guys some good ideas. If you're looking for good educational gift ideas and you just don't want to be wasteful this Christmas, you want to give gifts that um, promote education or that kids will really be excited to play with. So I tried to pull together things that are also not difficult for the parents. Like there's not a lot of glitter. There's only one slime thing. There's not a lot of little tiny pieces and little tiny parts. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get right, right into so the it. First thing I'm going to start with are games. And so these are like great family gifts. I love giving a game, a board game that's age appropriate to a family and just giving one family gift. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you, y'all have seen before. It's this Into the Forest game. This one is actually currently my eight-year-old son's favorite game. John, would you say this is his favorite game right now? I keep finding this in his room. This game is amazing. It is all about, um, well, I'm gonna have to read the box because I'm gonna mess it up. Nature's food chain game. So you're talking about predators and prey. The whole point of the game is to have the most points. You get the most points and the most energy from the plants, but to get the plants, you kind of have to go through this whole process. You also want to have a predator so that you can get to that. It's awesome. It's just a big card game. Um, and it talks about like, uh, decay, decaying matter. If your kids like nature walks or you want to encourage them to um, get out in nature more, this is a really great logic, uh, logical type of game. It actually was, it kind of reminds me of if your kids are into like Pokemon or things like that because it is like a battle. You kind of do like challenges and you battle with nature. Um, my kids, we've been on nature walks and they've named some things before that they learned from this game. So I'm not intentionally teaching them anything with the game, but they've read the cards while we're playing the game and they've noticed like, oh, that's a decomposer and things like that. Um, the next thing I have to show you is this Dr. Eureka game. This is currently my girls, both my girls' favorite game. Annabeth doesn't really know how to play. She's my two and a half year old, but my daughter really loves this game. This one is really fun. This is by, it's like blue, yeah, blue orange. So the way this game works is you have these different cards. Oh, some of them are backwards. So you have these different cards and everybody starts with a couple of beakers here. And then you have two of each color of these little balls. And then you have to transfer them from beaker to beaker to make them match up what the um, challenge is on the card and you cannot touch them. You can have them either facing straight up and down or they can be flipped upside down to make the challenge card, but it's basically just doing that as fast as you can. Now, we, we play it as a family. My kids also sometimes play this on their own and just try to time themselves to see how fast they can do the cards, and that's a really fun game as well. Shadows in the Forest. 
This one is really, really fun if you have older kids. This is a play in the dark strategy game. It's really neat. So essentially, you set this board game up and you have, here's the board. I won't, I won't show everything in detail, but the board games need a little bit of explanation. Here's the board, you set this up, and then you put these different trees and things um, around the board. And then you have this little light, which is one person is this lantern, and then everybody else tries to hide these little creatures around the board. And so the person who has the lantern will move the lantern around the spaces on the board, and then you play in the pitch black, and then everybody will try to move these little pieces without letting them touch the light. So as you put them on the different, around the different trees and as the person's little lantern moves around, it casts the shadows in different areas. So you're trying to move these without picking them up off the board, moving them along the game board without ever touching any light. And that has caused a lot of um, high intensity, like exciting gameplay for my kids. Like, wait, is that a light? I can't tell if that's a light. And they like stick their hand around to see if there's any light um, or if it's all shadow and everyone's excited and freaked out. And it's very, very fun game. And then another one you guys have seen before, but this buy it right game is a really fun game. If you have younger ones who are learning about money, it comes with a calculator. Um, it kind of reminds me of that, um, like that mall game from back when, when I was a kid. Um, it comes with money and like this is like a little cash register type of thing. You get these little shopping cards and everybody is trying to get all of the items on their grocery list. This is a fun one. My kids, depending on their age, I'll give them different tasks in the game. I'll say one of them is the, you know, the banker and so they have to make all the change. Some of them I'll ask direct questions if we're playing it during school. I'll say like, oh, but what if you gave me this and how much change would you have to make? So that's a really great one as well. And then the last board game I have to show you is Corkle. And the reason I love this game and the reason it's a great educational game is because there's no reading involved. Um, it's a little bit like Scrabble, um, except it's not with letters, so that's really helpful. So the way you play Quirkle is you have, everybody gets it's like six or seven of these little pieces, and you set these little pieces up in front of you, nobody can see them, and you have to assemble them together. You either do, there's six of each color and shape, so you can do the same shape, um, but it'd have to be all six different colors. You can't have two like two green circles in the same row or six of the same color. Um, so it would be like the six different shapes, but all the same color. And you can't have two of the same shapes in the row. Um, and so you just put a few down and you count your points. And when you get, when the person puts the six down or if somebody puts all six down, it's called a quirkle and you get like double the points for completing that row. This one is awesome because it's hard to find games for a family with, you know, diff big age gaps, but it's really great because you don't have to read, um, and you don't have to do any math, but it's very, it takes some logic and some skill. Another thing I wanted to mention, one of my favorite educational gifts to give and to receive, grandparents, hint, hint, is Kiwi Crates, Koala Crates, Eureka Crates, Doodle Crates. They are always running a really great special during the month of December. So I'm gonna put a link below. It is an affiliate link, but they are not sponsoring this video. My kids love, uh, right now Jessie has the Atlas Crate and Bella is doing the Tinker Crate. No, she's doing the Doodle Crate. Um, I paused their subscription for a few months and stuck these away. We had a few extra we, we didn't get to. And then I pulled them out the other day and they had so much fun with them. So during the special, I restarted their subscriptions, but with a new subscription for each of them. I wanted them to try something new. If you've used a Kiwi Crate or a Koala Crate before, you can always get in on the special by choosing a different crate. You can pause it, cancel it anytime. They always have really, really great specials. Um, now they have a crate, a crate, a crate for zero to two year olds, two to five year olds, um, all the way up to a 14 plus crate, which I've considered getting for myself because it's really, um, it looks really great. So they've got geography crates, art crates, tons and tons of crates. I did check and see the one I ordered for Anna. I got all four of my kids one. The one I ordered for Annabeth is like a, like a make your own doctor's kit. She's going to freak out. She's going to love that so much. So 
that is a great gift. I know there's always a good special going on. By the time I post this video, I'm sure there will still be one. It might not be the same one that's going on right now. So I'm going to put a link below for that if you're interested. But you can do this month to month or you can buy it as like a three month subscription. And if you buy it now, it will get to you in time to wrap the first one for Christmas. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to move on to... Hmm, should I do the STEM toys or the younger kids toy? I'm gonna move on to some toys for like young elementary and preschoolers and then I'm gonna do, I have tons of STEM and logic toys, so I'm gonna do these ones first. The first one is one that you saw in my What I Got My Kids for Christmas video. Um, it's this Melissa and Doug bead sequencing set. The reason I'm showing it again, in case you didn't see that other video, um, and also because it's a great price and it's a large package. So if you are buying for a two, three, four, five-year-old, although it technically says four and up, so I guess a four, a four year old, um, and you wanna give them an educational gift and you wanna also give them a gift they're gonna be excited about, if you wrap this one, it's gonna look like a really big present. It's around $20 usually, and it's all these different big chunky beads, um, and it comes with these different cards and these little sticks you put in here. So they put it like this and they'll have those um, dowels sticking up and then they just do the um, bead sequencing on that. So I'm excited for Annie to have that. These are pieces that I probably won't lose, although my kids have surprised me before. But, um, you know, if one rolls away, you're pretty likely to find it because of the size. Another great toy is this Montessori sorting puzzle. It's not currently all together correctly so just go with me here but it, this is a great option if you're buying say for a younger one where you're really kind of just buying for the parents because they're a little too young to really understand or they're getting so many toys this is a really great one this one is like all there there's a, one of my hairs there too um, these are different little peg dolls different sizes they're di different circumference as well as different um, height I don't know if you're able to see these or if you're if it's just focused on my face it's hard to tell so um, it comes in this pack of four that where's the one that oh, it's this one here so this one they're all the same um, width but then they're all a different depth so you have to figure out which one goes where it's a really a really really awesome Huh, and I still did it wrong. Hmm. It, this is a great this is a great one. This is a puzzle that it's just different. So when my friends' kids come over, say we're doing co-op at our house or we're having like a nature or tea time at our house, all the kids, even the eight, nine, and ten year olds always grab that toy. It's just a fun one. This one's great for ages three and up. This has been one that we actually repurchased for my younger two. I had this one for my older two, and then we got rid of it, and then I wanted my younger two to have it, so um, it's this sorting pie. This is a fun one, definitely a fun gift to give. Um, it comes like this pie here, and you've got all sorts of different fruits in there. And then you've got different cards that it comes with like this. Some of them have numbers, some of them have colors, some of them just have the fruit shapes. And you put it at the bottom of this pie, it's hard to tell. And then the kids will sort the fruit to fit into the right um, little slice of pie there. So that's a really great gift to give because it's got some, it's got some, um, it packs the punch there when they open it and they see a big pie toy, that's exciting. Little do they know it's an educational toy. So we really like that one. Uh, and then just a couple of little wooden toys here. So I don't know if I need to go into more detail about this because I think I've shown this every year for the last three or four years. But this big fun domino run, this is by Alex Toys. This was one of the very first um, STEM style educational toys I got for my kids. I believe my daughter was six when I got it for her. It's this like circus themed domino run. And this is one that my kids, kind of, I mean, if I'm being honest, they fight over who gets to play with this toy. It comes with all sorts of cool pieces. They set things up all across the house. Um, it has like a little bell that they hit, a little, um, all sorts of stuff. I don't know where the bell is. Is it in here? There's like a little bell. My kids like to have be the ending toy. 
um, that it hits. So my kids really like this one. This would be another really great family gift because again, like two years old up to 10 years old, all my kids really like that. And then they also really like this Melissa and Doug set. I don't even know what it's called. It was like a toolbox. So it's got little wooden um, screws and all these different little, look, another one of my hairs, sorry. All these little pieces, um, all sorts of different things here. So my kids really like that one. That's open-ended, endless play. Um, and again, another one that all of my kids like with all of their different ages. Um, moving on to some of the STEM, STEAM toys. My son, if you guys follow me on Instagram, my oldest son was just in the hospital. He had um, a peritonsillar abscess, so he was stuck in bed with um, breathing treatments for a couple of days, and I had to come up with a couple of toys for him to play with at the hospital there, and so I grabbed this. This is something he got for his birthday and we hadn't opened yet, and I did not expect it to be such a big hit. First of all, you see Mega Slime and Putty Lab, and you think like, mm, mm not at my house, but it's already packaged. It's not like they're making the slime. So this has six, is it six different types of slime? Bouncing putty, color changing putty, glow in the dark putty, a UV light keychain, magnetic putty, a horseshoe magnet, liquid slime, fluffy slime, snotty slime, and then one packet of slime powder, a stir stick, eight storage containers, and a learning guide. So it looks like this when you open it up. And he played with this for two days straight. He loved it, he could not wait. He missed his siblings like crazy, first of all, but he could not wait to show them all this different slime. And it's a decent amount. It's not like one of those little tiny things of slime that like, it's like, you know, a couple tablespoons. Like this is a lot of slime in these containers. Um, and the glow in the dark stuff was super cool. Let me show you. Okay, so here's the glow in the dark slime. So you've got that. And then you take this little UV light and he would draw pictures and then it stays on there for a few seconds. So if you've got, this would be a great gift for like that kid that you just don't know what to buy for. Like any kid I think likes slime right now and this is one that would probably not make the parents totally despise you because um, they're not mixed. There's only one container that they have to mix themselves. So. We really like this. Of course, any of these National Geographic kits, I, I have not met one that I haven't fully enjoyed yet. Um, they're all awesome, but they all come with a learning guide, so this is really neat. Like the magnetic one, it talks about why it reacts and on and on. What do you know, another National Geographic set. If you saw my, um, what I got my kids video, which I'll link up here if I haven't already, I had a few of the Smithsonian kits as well. I love those, but this National Geographic kit, you break open, break open 10 premium geodes. We have a few of them left. I wonder if I have one of the opened ones in here. I don't think so. My son has lined them up on his windowsill. But it comes with 10 of these rocks. Is it gonna focus? There we go. So it comes with 10 of these. And then, did it come with something to break them open with? No, oh that's right, he used a hammer. We actually ended up putting these inside of a sock so that the little pieces didn't fly anywhere. Um, but these are really neat on the inside. They're super cool. Let me see, here's the back of it. Um, so every one of them is different, of course, and it did come with safety glasses, that's what it came with. Um, he really loved this one, and he still has a few left in there that he can use. Uh, while I'm talking about the rocks and geodes, I'll say that this is a kind of a big ticket item. I think it's around like 60 to $80. But this rock tumbler, he loves his rock tumbler. You can buy replacement rocks online or you can just get rocks from your backyard. Um, we, pre-warning, we run this in our garage because this sits in there and it just keeps tumbling and you hear the rocks tumbling constantly. So we, it lasted one night in his room and then we decided nobody was getting any sleep. It did come with some rocks to start with. It came with all of the grit and the polishing stuff. You kind of change it out every few days. Um, it came with everything you needed. We did not have to buy anything for him to use this the first couple of times. It even came with some supplies to turn his um, polished rocks into jewelry. So this was a great 
one, <coughs> excuse me, that's a great gift idea. Another one that really would be awesome for like that kid you just don't know who to buy for, even if it's your own kid. If my son did not have that, eight, eight year old boys are tough. If my son didn't already have that, he'd be getting it for Christmas this year. Um, so next I have this wooden marble run. This one is one we've had around for a couple of years and anytime I bring it out, all of my kids really like it. Of course my two year old just builds with the wooden blocks, but it's got all sorts of different pieces here. Some larger, longer pieces, some little short and stout pieces, some pieces um, where you know the marble can drop all the way through. This is really great. They can use chairs, they can use boxes, or they can just use these pieces. And this is a really great um, non, I don't know, like non abrasive toy. It's very, you know, it's natural tones. It's not like those big plasticky marble runs. So I love wooden toys. Um, I'll always go for the wooden toy over like the big plasticky toy, um, but that's just me. Um, so then I'll show you a big plasticky toy since I just said that. My, we got this for my five-year-old last year. It is Botley the Coding Robot. This has been so much fun. It came with so many pieces. It's got this, um, remote here. It's got all the coding cards if you want to lay out the code before they program it into Botley. Um, it came with little blocks that he can move around. All these little sticks that he can, um, scoop up it's got this um he can run there's a cone is it this yeah there's this cone he can run into and you can program him what to do if he runs into that cone and it came with some um little pattern puzzle squares you can put him on and he'll follow the pattern round and round and round this is another one that has been uh, a family favorite my youngest doesn't really know how to use it but she'll take this and just plug in some codes and hit play and, or hit go and see what she's done um, what I like about this is uh, we have the coding mouse game as well we really like that as well but what I like about Botley is that you can program him like if he runs into something, then this is what he does. And so you can kind of like set up an obstacle course and they can go around it um, versus just, you know, plugging in some arrows and letting him follow the path. So my kids have really enjoyed that. Another thing you guys have seen every year, but it's worth sharing in case somebody's new here. We love Magformers, especially this Magformers. Um, well, I don't know what the actual kit was. That was the one with the big Ferris wheel and they could make like a, like one of those pirate ship things. So it came with all these extra little pieces. Of course, just the starter set is amazing. If you don't have any of these or you know somebody doesn't have these, they are awesome. This is a great gift to give. I know most parents would be really happy to receive it. My kids will spend hours playing with this. And my um, almost three-year-old is getting super into these, so I'm excited to have yet another Magformers fan in the house. These triangle pieces can help make a sphere shape. You've got the squares, and then all of the Magformers sets come with idea booklets here. Um, so if you have a Lego fan, or a kid who loves to build, or... Um, a kid who is easily frustrated but still likes to build, that's a great one because they do stick together. The magnet, the magnetic force is pretty strong. They're not just gonna topple over, although of course they will fall apart if they're like smushed or pushed, but that's a really great option. My son is still awake, I think. I'm trying to film this at night. Um, this is something he'll be receiving at my mom's house this year. Um, he has been a fan of this for a very long time and of this for a very long time and anything engineering or, um, or just any of those like STEM style toys. So I'm graduating him up to this. I can't say much about it. Like I said, I think he's still awake, but I wanted to give you guys this idea because Again, this is the age range we talked about starting to become very, very difficult. And as much as I want to keep buying him all these types of things because he does love them, they do look like, you know, little kid toys and he loves to play with them. He really does. But I think we're going to start to see a lot more of these types of little contraptions around our house as he gets older. And I'm so excited that 
Um, this is like the thing that's in right now, all the STEM stuff, all the coding stuff, because this is a really fun time to have a little boy in your house. So I'm excited to see that these products are available and it's not just little kid products anymore. Another thing that he really likes and my six year old's getting super into now are these snap circuit sets. So my son has four of these sets, so he's not gonna be getting any more for Christmas this year because it's kind of one of those things where once you have a lot of them, any new additional sets contain so many of the starter pieces, you don't really need to like keep getting brand new sets. But he has the Snap Circuits light set, the alternative energy set, the starter set, and he has the arcade set. And these are really neat. Um, they're these. I think the most valuable part of them are these booklets that they come. It comes with. I needed to bring some water over here. Um, because all of the projects are listed in here. Well, that's just the. Do -do -do. All the projects are listed in here, and as you complete them, you can check them off. So it tells you what pieces you'll need and how to assemble them. And then they all give you a little bit of info down here about what you just built and what you just did. This is something that I really, I really don't know enough about to teach my kids about, but I love that as they play with this, they're getting so much information and they're learning so much more than I could, re that it's really like in my realm of expertise here. So this is a really great set. Again, if you have somebody, a kid who is into like the building or the coding or you want like, um, if they like electronic things, but you're so sick of screens, like I don't, um, I don't know, I really, really like this and I'm glad that it's getting more use for my six-year-old now. They're all able to complete it. Sometimes they'll rush it and they'll have to go back and see like, oh, you missed one tiny little piece. You know, you forgot to put the little one um, snap circuit in and then they'll have to go back and redo it, but it's all great skills to learn. They love it, low frustration, they all click together. So again, it's another thing, they can pick up the base piece and hold it upside down, it's not gonna fall apart. So I really like that. Um, I said on Instagram uh, that I was going to do an Osmo review for you guys, but I'm not gonna do that on YouTube now, a dedicated Osmo review because of all this new COPPA stuff. I think a specific toy review would be flagged as a video for kids. If you're not familiar with that, there's some YouTube stuff going on um, that's been a little bit concerning for YouTube creators, especially family channels, because it's hard to determine, you know, it's family friendly content, but not kid content. Anyway, um, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because I'm going to do an, an overview of the Osmo system in my Insta stories one day soon. My mom has this and she has like every different, there's like a coding one, there's some art programs, there's the genius kit, which is like, you know, like the starter set essentially. But uh, there, she has this Hot Wheels one. It comes with these little Hot Wheels cars and then you have little, uh, it's gonna be loud have this little track and what I really like about this is this is an iPad uh, thing you dock the iPad where is the piece okay. here you dock your iPad in this and you open up the program and then you have all these manipulatives that you use um, and that that makes me say yes <laughs> to some screen time because they're using these manipulatives so they're not just like zoned in and locked in on the iPad. So like this one is for the little pizza shop. You've got all this change. They have to make the change. They have to slide it, you know, on the little um, place in front of this dock. They've got to make, um, put the right coins, put the right dollars. Um, they've got this little pizza here and they have to build the orders, physically build the orders by putting the toppings on top. So it's not just like they're playing games where they're like tapping pepperonis and tapping mushrooms. Like they have to find little mushroom pieces. Um, I don't know what this, I don't know how to explain this. It's definitely stronger than cardboard, but it's for the screen, the screen can read it. Um, but they have to put all the little pieces on top. So for me, that's helpful because I know that they're not totally zoned into the screen. So this is another one. It's a big ticket item. Like it's the starter. Oh my gosh, Abby. The starter sets are anywhere from 
50 to $100, and then you can do add-on sets that are 15 to $30, but um, if you struggle with screen time or your kids enjoy it, but you don't know, um, you know, of any options beyond just being locked on the screen. This is a really great one. It's really great for travel. I have borrowed this many times when we've traveled, taken little trips. It's great for a hotel room. It's compact, and um, but it's not just laying, laying in bed watching YouTube. Um, so there's that. Now I'm going to show you guys some books, and then I'm going to leave you with that. Not gonna waste a lot of time showing you guys books because I show them to you all the time. If you've missed my last couple of book hauls, I will link them up here. But these Usborne activity books are really fun and that's why I think they make a great gift. They're really educational, of course. These ones are less than $10. There's this Times Tables activity book. Um, it's very colorful. You would never know that it is a multiplication book. It doesn't feel, I mean, you totally know it is, but it doesn't feel like a boring black and white multiplication book. So this one is great. My daughter loves this and I just got one for my son. Um, I also have this measuring things activity book. Again, it's not just like inches and centimeters. This one goes pretty in depth. So it's very colorful, very bright, very engaging and under $10 as well. These Academy books are great for kids who are like eight, nine, 10 and up. They're very involved. There's Chef Academy, Pilot Academy. There is Astronaut Academy, Scientist Academy, Engineer Academy, so many Academy books. So if you wanna give a gift to, um, or you wanna give an activity book or a book gift to a child who's you know, not six or seven and all you, all the options out there are like little kids sticker books. These Academy books are really, really great. These are $12.99. They're very involved. And if you give them one for Christmas, it's literally going to take them all Christmas break to go through it. For little ones, little children's books are awesome as well. I am an Osborne consultant. If you're wondering why I'm talking about whole series of books instead of just showing you individual books. Um, these are really great for like four, five, and six year olds. I keep these around often for Eli to do while I'm doing lessons with older ones. The big books are very giftable. There are Stars and Planets, Big Book of Bugs, Big Book of the Human Body, and these fold out to be very big. So my kids like these. We're careful with them because I, um, once they're folded out, I don't want them to wreck them, so they're ones that they look out with guidance, but these are really neat books. This engineering scribble book, if you've got an older kid, again, another one that you're looking for activity books for, something for a road trip, or um, something for um, Christmas break, you know, winter break. This is another really great one. It's very engaging, very bright. I love when books are really bright. I keep saying very bright because printing costs are high and sometimes I don't want to pay for a book if I could, you know, print the activities myself, but you know, they're very, very engaging. Um, what oh, here's Pilot Academy. Oh, okay, the last one I'm gonna leave you with, um, very, very giftable book again, are these different lift the flat math books. So there is this first math. This one is great for preschool. I have always loved this one. It's a little nostalgic looking at this because Eli has definitely outgrown it. But you've got um, these simple little lift the flaps here. Um, let's see. This little flower pot. Can you see that? So it's, what is that, seven plus one, and then you've got the answer down there. These are all flaps to lift. Super fun, super interactive, lots and lots of sturdy flaps to lift. But what I love about these Osborne books is that there's also the multiplication, periodic table, fractions and decimals. So if you have kids who are struggling with certain subjects and you want them to be able to grow in that area during break, this is another really good option as well. Very, very fun. You can still make math and learning fun even when they're older and they're onto things like fractions and decimals. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I'm going to put links to these below. Kind of ran out of time um, to show you the Shine a Light books, but you guys are probably familiar with that. I'm going to leave you there because I just gave you tons and tons of info. So, what I want to know is what is the number one educational product that you would recommend to give as a gift? 
I think that we could all use some help. I'm always looking for new educational products and I'm sure that there are tons of different interests out there that I have not covered in this video. So leave that in the comments below. Also, make sure you go check out Jessica's video. It is surely not going to disappoint. She's got tons of fun games, especially. I cannot wait to go watch that. Thank you, Jessica, for collaborating with me today. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this educational gift guide for 2019. Bye, guys.